everybody, I'm Brig from All Day Anime, and welcome to my Twitch channel and or YouTube channel and where we're, I don't know, wherever you're watching it. Today we're doing another tier list with my boy, Nuxi. Yo! Great to be here! <laughs> awesome Very cool! Awesome to have you, man. We totally didn't just record the previous one, like, ten minutes ago. Correct! Totally not! Never. Different days, Never. obviously. <laughs> anyway, we're doing... That's why we're tier... all fresh, awake, and ready to jump into it. Right into it. Yeah. All right, we're doing Nen Systems. Tier list. No, we're not off. really doing Nen Systems. Oh, my we're God. We're doing Power Systems. Power Systems, Nen awake. being a great system. To Although power. Nen is a pretty great system. Yes. Starts off in SS, all the way down to Trash. None of which are going to be in Trash. Otherwise, Boruto. <laughs> 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 the same exact power system of Naruto, but this one's trash. <laughs> but this one is trash. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Never fear. All right. I figured that we, we took a wide variety of power systems this time, not just like the tip top elite power systems ever. So, therefore, I think we should be ranking them against each other and have at least one in trash. Yes. To make things fun. I think this is the worst yeah. intro we've ever done. I think this is a pretty dope intro. I mean, you killed it. I, I said Nen Systems. This so. is true. I remember <laughs> that. All right. Let's just jump into it. Before we begin, today's video is sponsored by Amino. Amino is an amazing free app filled with communities for pretty much every interest on the planet. My favorite being the anime Amino. But what I'm here to tell you about is their cool new story feature. Yes, Amino now has stories, and I plan on posting stories on their app. My username on the app is BriggsADA, and a link to the app is down below. I just posted a story on my global profile. Here is a sneak peek. Here are three must-watch martial arts anime. Number one, Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple, which follows the story of weak kneed Kenichi on his journey to become the strongest disciple. It's one of the funniest anime I have ever seen, and it's truly inspirational watching Kenichi grow as a person and chase his dream. To watch the rest of the story and many more in the future, follow me, Briggs ADA, on the app, link down below. I'm so excited about this new feature and to finally have an outlet to make short form content for you guys. Not only would you be downloading an amazing free app that I use, but you would be supporting my channel in the process and I really do appreciate it. Hell yeah. Starting off with One Piece. One Piece, an anime never spoken about by Lord Brigo. Ever. Ever. Well, I love One Piece, its characters, its world. I don't think the actual power system itself is that amazing. And when, so, I, when we, when we when talk about we're talking about One Piece's power system, you have to, I don't know, put into perspective, we're both talking about Devil Fruits as well as hockey, yeah. as well as whatever the hell swordsmen are. I mean, swordsmen still use hockey, so. Yeah, but, like, even swordsmen without hockey are somehow, like, able to chop down, like, glaciers and shiz. Yeah. Um, so I guess, I don't know, I feel like Devil Fruits aren't that great. I'm with you. But in combination with hockey makes it cool because like logo users, you need to use hockey in order to attack them. Hockey itself has like a variety of different versions versus like observation hockey and armament hockey. I like how there's different classes of devil fruits. It's still not like the best power system though. Where would you I'm against? with you. I mean, I don't want to put it too low because I would only put it lower comparing it to other anime. But to start off, I would not put it above B. We'll start it off at B and maybe later on move it up or down, depending on where other stuff ends up. I feel like we might have to move it up because we have some stuff in here that I'm not really a fan of. Well, we'll worry about that when the time arises. Yes, I'll let Next, tomorrow... we have Magi! Next, the we have Magi! of Magic, as well as the Labyrinth of Magic. And I happen to love this power system, at least A rank. Really? What do you yes. like about it? First of all, there's Magic aside from Jinns. So there's also two power systems... Ca ca corresponding with one another just kind of like one piece however they fit much better they fit with the lore better um and also i feel like the fights are much more varied and much more interesting with this combination for example there's gin users and there's household vessel users the people that the gin users make part of his household because every gin user has the ability to become a king and you can switch off between gins you're using. For the most part, most gin users only have one gin at a time. But someone like Sindobado has seven gins and is an absolute mad lad. And even someone like Ren Cohen from the Co Empire, he has three gins, but he has so many six strategies that he throws together with these gins. Like, for example, and I, I use this example every time because it was one of the coolest moves ever. 
And I said, moves, not mooms, you should know. That was not an accident. Um, he used fire gin. And once he was running out of energy with his fire gin, the only way to replenish that energy is either by waiting or by absorbing fire. So what does he do? He switches to his earth gin. And with his earth gin's mana, he create he pulls out a massive glob of earth from the ground and hurls it as a, at his opponent or whatever. But he opens up a chasm to the core of the earth, creating a volcano which erupts and reignites the mana in his fire gin, replenishing his magoi, bringing it back to full power. He is an absolute mad lad as well. Not as mad lad as Sindobado. But hey, most people are not as mad lad as Sindobado. Well, considering just, I haven't watched all of, of Moggy, I have no idea what you sad. just said. But you kind of... What? <laughs> I mean, I know what Jins are. and like I understand like the system to a certain extent. I wasn't going to give it a high tier. But I'm going to have to judge uh, or accept your judgment since I don't really like know much about Moggy. So you think it's so an A tier? Um, either A or S. I would give it an A. I'd give it an A. A it is. I think it's a pretty dope uh, also, power system. Also, big boys. Thanks for the follow. Hell yeah, big boys. I only said it because I like the name. <laughs> Fair enough. Because I, like, I always say it when I'm streaming, you know, Dark Souls. Feel free to follow me. Link in the description to my Twitch channel. But we're trying to record a video. So I wouldn't have said it. Other, but like, his name's Big Boys. <laughs> you know what? I completely agree with this. Dragon Ball. Is the next year system. All right. Would you like to take this one away? Um, I feel like it's not that great as far as power systems go. Like, what is it? So, like, I guess there's key and energy. And, like, I guess... I, I'll, I'll let you continue. You take it away. And then I don't I'll, know. I'll let you know my thoughts. I don't, I don't really know how to describe this. It's basically fighting. But then you could also do, like, energy blasts. Like, so, basically, you have key. You use that to protect your body. It probably makes you stronger. I would imagine, but also you could expel that energy to make blasts that kill nobody, unless it's a Kamehameha wave. The individual ones where you're just doing tons of them at a time never work ever. Um... Okay, my hot take, Dragon Ball has no power system. <laughs> I mean, it definitely has a power system. And I system. would put it in trash tier. So the only good thing about this There system... are good moments, there are good fights, there are good power-ups, etc., etc., but they're all coming from emotion. They're all coming from emotion or hard work or whatever it is. But the power system is non-existent. So I'm going to disagree me. with you there. The one good thing about this power system is that it makes everything at such a grand scale. Like every like people could literally blow up planets and all that. It's because of the power system that was put in place. Not just like because of the energy within their bodies and everyone has a different power level, so on and so forth. And you could power up and go Super Saiyan if you're a Saiyan, obviously. But the only reason they're able to do things on such a huge scale is because of the power system put in place. And I feel like yeah, a lot the of the appeal... System, you're just ex equating the words power system with scale? Well, I mean, a lot of the It's not the power appeal... system. That's, I don't know, power output. That's just the scale of the fights. But well, as far as the power system goes, I mean, they're just shooting lasers and yeah, gathering it's not, it's, energy it's, it's, to it's shoot bigger lasers. Deep. It's not very deep. But I think part of the appeal is the huge scale of the series on how everything, every battle is at such a high magnitude. And I think that's because of the power system. But you're right. It's, it isn't very deep. I'm going to agree with you entirely that the fights are fun, that the scale is great, that it's all enjoyable. I I'm, a, I'm with you. But it's not because of the power system. I mean, if they didn't introduce energy... <laughs> They couldn't do that. Yeah, but energy is like generic as anything. Everything well, I'm uses energy. C. Sorry? I'm going to say C. Well, I'm going to say trash. Fine, Nux. You convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we have three people. I feel like we always agree. Except for with Yeah, we well. usually agree somehow. I mean. Look, we can move it up later if we find something worse. Fair enough. There's not going to be anything worse. We'll see. We'll see. Next, we have World Trigger. And I love this power system. I'd give it an S, but you've never seen World Trigger. Yes, so it comes down to you. But why do, Why would you give it an S, Nux? All right, so I will explain. World Trigger, do you know the premise of the show? Not at all. Actually, so more or less, I do. Sorry? Actually, I do. Isn't it like with um, these monsters evade the world and people? But not are... necessarily monsters. There are other civilizations in alternate dimensions all using Treon. Treon is the generic term for mana or chakra or energy or key or whatever the hell you want to use in every other anime ever. Fair enough? <laughs> Fair enough. So that's what Treon is. 
uh, in this. Um, so there are different nations in different dimensions and stuff, and there are different monsters that pop out of different dimensions. And Border is an organization that's comprised of mostly high school students for some strange reason that they um, basically train and use Treon weapons to defend the their dimension from these neighbors. There end up becoming like these whole massive like full scale wars between different dimensions, and that's all great. However, as far as the power system goes, there seems to be a relatively limited amount of things each of them can do. Like, there are certain classes, you know, there's shooters, there's up-close fighters, and that's more or less it. But in each class, they're divided in subclasses, mid-range or long-range or snipers or what, whatever it is. And as far as short range, you can go fast, or you can go strong, you can tank, and there, there are many different styles of weapons and styles of fighting. But why I love it so much is because it's all strategy-based. The entire, the entire series is strategy, aside from the individuals that are stronger than others, that have different strengths than others. And there's also another uh, side power system thing going on called side effects. Side effects are people who have too much Treon, they develop some superhuman ability. Like, for example, Jin, the by far best character in World Trigger, develops a side effect that he can see glimpses of the future. Uh, so he's, like, by far the coolest character ever. Or Kuga, the, one of the main characters, he develops a side effect that he can tell whenever someone's lying. Like, that doesn't sound so huge. But mixing together the calculated strategies in the battle system with the side effects, you get a pretty dope power system. Yeah, I would say, like, your reasoning for World Trigger is why Goku wouldn't, uh, not Goku, Dragon Ball wouldn't be as very high. Because there's not a lot of variety, there's not a lot of strategy involved correlated with the power system it's just like output like you said so I'll, no but I'll... it is strategy it's all strategy no i'm talking about they, dragon ball how they use the defined power system i'm talking about dragon ball oh i'm sorry i was just saying that's why dragon ball isn't as high it gave me a good reasoning to like at least something to say as to why not to put it very high i feel like we didn't explain that right, fair enough other than just saying it's lasers <laughs> So you want to put World Trigger in S based off if of If you that. would like to put it A because you don't know it, I'm fully okay with that. No, it's wherever you want. I haven't seen this show. Right? Yeah, but no that's like, bring it down. you can't just base it on me. Well, I have no I have no opinion on it. All right, fair enough. And the way you described it, it sounded pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It sounded better than Moggy, so I'll allow it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, in any case, next, no game, Noragami. No life. I swapped it to No Game, No Life because it's all about games. Fair enough. Any world governed by games does sound pretty cool. It does. Has nothing to do with physical strength. Doesn't matter if you're bigger, stronger in any well, way. Well, I guess it's... it depends on the game. Um, I guess. But that's because the only reason that one game defended on physical strength was because like they were they got to choose the game and then they chose one that worked in their yeah, favor. Yeah, that's but you that's know, part of the power yeah, system. They put that in Once their virtual reality. You have reality to lock world. your opponent into a game that you're advantageous with. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's not like they're, like, playing basketball or anything. <laughs> but they could. They could, technically. Um, but most of the games anything are very intellectually be. driven. Even the one against the Beastmen that, like, they had a severe physical advantage, it still very much came down to intellect and strategy and all that. Even though people say it's bullshit, but I still I love No Game No Life. I, same here, man. Same here. I think that it's such a fun idea for a power system. Yeah. Because anything goes. You can technically make anything a game. You can make toy coin tosses a game. You can make bets. Oh, when the bird will fly away next? Will it be in five seconds or in ten seconds? You can make that a game. And then he throws a rock at the bird, so the bird flies away, so he wins. Like, it, the power system can extend to anything, whatever they decide to base rules on, as well as win conditions and loss conditions. So I like No Game No Life's power system. But how high would you put it? I feel like it's like an A. I agree with that. A. It is. All right, Noragami now. Noragami. And the reason why I moved it is I'm like, I don't really remember Noragami's power system. Well, part of it is uh, these god people that get uh, souls that are wandering around and turn them into their weapons. That's a part of it. But it's also a part of, you know... There's a lot of suffering and miasma and that whole thing that if a oh. soul becomes tainted and impure and there's a certain amount of suffering, people have to keep on their shoulders in order to maintain. So based off what The you point said, is, I think it's a C-tier power system, but it's not bad. Fair enough. C it is. I was going to say it's probably like B or C. 
based off of what you were saying. My Hero Academia. I actually do like the power system for this. Um, I think it's not the, like I think it's just a good show, not like amazing or anything. Hmm. I like I like just how much variety they put in. There's literally like any type of quirk you can imagine. There is one. It's just a wide cast of superheroes. Yeah. Um, so I am torn between B and C, though, because, again, I feel like it's a pretty generic power system. And... No, but I feel like they almost use it better than One Piece, man, in, like, when it comes to their well, powers, because each power is so individually different. And a lot of times they do, re- it's not just physical strength, maybe with Deku, but a lot of times there's like pros and cons to each person's quirk. Like when you look at the balance of Todoroki's quirk, but also each quirk has a, a you weakness. You just praised Todoroki. I know I did. I, that was terrifying. Not him, but his quirk. Um, okay, fair enough. But of course. Well, I mean, it's really cool, like, the balance between ice and fire and how, like, if you use ice too much, you're going to freeze or you're going to overheat with the fire, but you could use the other one to offset it and go longer. I think it's actually a really cool quirk. But each quirk has um, a weakness and its strengths, and in battle, there's actually some strategy involved, and each battle is different depending on your quirk and the quirk you're fighting against. And I think it actually is pro- at least B-tier. Uh, look, B tier is high balling for me. I have so many issues with quirks as far as a power system. I don't mind the series, and I don't mind the themes that it pushes as far as what makes a hero or the society and how society functions with quirks showing up. But quirks as being a power system, one thing that I don't like in general about power systems is if you're locked into it by birth. Like take something like Pokemon, for example. You could catch any Pokemon. You could train any Pokemon. With World Trigger, you could train with different triggers to come up with your own fighting style. With Magi, you have to come up with your own ways to get a different gin and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. With no game, no life, you're coming up with strategies and how to make yourself win a game. Yeah. I feel like with My Hero Academia, there's so much based on dumb luck of just being born with the right quirk. Yeah, but it like, doesn't really actually affect the series much. You're, the only people we actually focus on are the ones with good quirks. Like, it sucks when I mean, you think yes, about it. Yes, that's true, but what, that, what does that say the power system? I'm not saying the show's bad. I'm saying that the oh. power system isn't my favorite. If, but, for example, there's probably so many devil fruits that suck, or, right, or there's probably... Um, let, me, let me think of another It's example. true, but you don't have to eat a devil fruit. Hmm, that's true. I don't know. The reason I don't mind is, like, the only ones we're seeing are people with moderate to amazing quirks. The ones that literally, oh, let me let me move this object closer to me, aren't the focus of the show. So it doesn't really matter. But I agree, it sucks. Like, but those aren't the focus of the characters. We're not being shown that anyway. The ones we're being I'm, shown in battle are the ones that the are viable. Power system as more of a well, whole. Well, I'm talking about the battle. whole. Right? My Hero Academia power system annoys me. But I'm, I'm talking about how the power system is, is like takes effect in battles, and I think they do a good job. I do think they're they not going to show us a battle of someone with a quirk that like sucks. It sucks that there's people with quirks that are unviable but that they're, they're not the, going to be battling look i'm i'm okay to put it in c in, in b i mean if you'd like to put it in b i i can agree with that but while that's low balling on your end it's high balling on mine fair enough well i don't i wouldn't say it's low balling actually that's where it belongs around one piece i prefer one pieces because there's something you could do. There's always something you can do. Even someone without a devil fruit or someone with a crappy devil fruit can become something great. And quirks are losing rules if you're reading the manga, which yeah. I don't think oh, you I are. don't know. That's, that's never something I really considered when I was judging a battle system, whether or not everyone had access to it, whether or not it was a choice to partake in it type of thing. I was just kind of thinking of how the battle system applied in fights and how they made the fights good or not. Right? I do hear what you're saying. Like hockey, okay. Really the combination of hockey and devil fruits blend together nicely. But the only reason I say that is because you could use hockey to um, outweigh the fact that you don't have a devil fruit, or you could use hockey to fight specific devil fruit users. There's a variety of hockey, but all of it I'm thinking about is associated with the battle, like the system in place with the battle. I'm not really thinking, well, you don't have to eat a devil fruit, or you don't. You might be born with a shitty quirk. I don't know. I can see how it comes into play though with ranking I'm, I'm happy with b all right i'm happy with b as well what's this next one i can't even see i don't know it's too small black clover i think it's black clover it is black clover definitely above my hero academia please i'm, I'm very happy with a with black clover oh, i was thinking a to s hmm. well 
it's weird because they are generic, but they're also it's a very cool world, and how they in like the way the world works uh, no, is I'm, directly I'm, affected. I'm sticking on ass. You're sticking I, on I am ass. Full ass here. So the way the world works. Aside is, from the way the powers work, it's true they're generic. It's true people have like different you know inclinations towards different powers that they would like to use. But first of all, the way the fights are put together are great. It's like the teamwork between the characters, that's amazing. But the way they learn new spells, sorry fam, that yeah. takes the cake. It's from character development that their new magic spawns. That's S tier. And there's also mana zones and stuff, which is... I dope. was going to say it also, like, honestly, more related to what you were talking about in the past. Like, I like how the power system is actually, like, present in the world itself. Like, they go into it and talk about it a lot on how people born with a large amount of magic are treated as like royalty and people with no magic are scum or like poor or whatever are in poverty or or are lesser in or seem to be lesser or whatever and i don't know like for example that's not something explored in my hero academia very much but that's something that's very much so when you were saying something with my hero academia like it sucks that you have no choice over what you would get it's kind of the same thing with my hero academia but you can make your obviously you can make your power way better but it's also like riddled in the world and it's a topic and it's i don't know it's a, it's a major theme ongoing throughout the story i i agree with you but if you look at for example uh someone like zora from my hero from black clover you, you know who i'm talking about yeah. mask dude Trash. so he was born as not a um he was not a noble he did not have a ton of mana but the way he honed his ability to use trap magic made him a total badass that is something that can't be done in My Hero Academia. What do you mean? If you're born with a quirk that turns your eyeballs into soup at will, it will not make you be able to defeat anyone. What do you're you not going to beat All Might with the ability to turn your eyeballs into soup. I will right? learn how to make this soup very tasty, and then people will eat it. But secretly, there's poison inside. Briggs, <laughs> you're not <laughs> wiggling you, out of this one. What do you mean? Being able to move an object <laughs> slightly slowly. It depends on the object. What if I'm moving, moving your heart? Oh, you had a heart attack and died. Wow. Very OP, depending on how you use your ability. I'm just kidding. Um, Black Clover no, S tier. I'm good at that. Bro. <laughs> All right, but fair enough. S tier. Right, what Black do you Clover. mean? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm done. All right, what's this next one? It's soul, too small. Soul Eater. Soul, soul Eater. Uh, it's a solid B for me. <laughs> I was going to say, like, it's like mid tier, yeah. I like the relationship between the wielder and the user, but it's not. I feel like it's cool and it's great for character development. And Excalibur is one of the greatest anime characters of all time. I was gonna say like, oh, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> Excalibur. Yes. yes! Yeah, the, uh, the relationship between the user and um, and their weapon is really cool, and it's a part of it's part of the system that I really like, and how they grow together. But other than that, it's not like amazing. Yeah, I feel like it's enough to push it into B, but no higher. Exactly. All right, we got Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Gi -Oh. All right, so... so the while I do itself. like Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> as ahead. a game, it's not done well enough in the anime to certain degrees. There are certain scenes where I'm just like blown away by how epic the game is. But at the same time, I think that's complementing the individual game, not the consistency of the power system. So I was going to say, going off the card game, it's an S. Going off of the anime, it's a C. Can't conf I, I can agree with that. But it, like certain scenes do great. And again, I feel like this is sort of similar to what I was complaining about by Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball has these adrenaline-rushing scenes as far as battles go, but that doesn't make the battle system great. So too, Yu-Gi-Oh can have these super duper epic scenes. Yu-Gi just pulled Exodia out of his ass for the 17th time in a row. But at the end of the day, that doesn't make the power system great. It just yeah. makes the scene amazing. So I would give it C. And it's actually so sad because the card game, the system of the game is amazing, but it's almost like they didn't use it to their advantage in the games, but rather just like made really hype battles that didn't make like <laughs> that were just yeah. based off of like bullshit, whatever they wanted to do to make it hype, I, but not actually I off agree. the system itself. I'm with you. Hmm. Where do you want to put it? See, that's where I said as well. Cool. I'm and I put I, did, I put Pokemon next since it's like a good contrast to Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. So my issue is here. If you're talking Pokemon anime, 
I'd give it like a C as well. But if you're talking Pokemon Adventures manga, I'd give it an SS. I think we're going to have to go off the anime since that's what we're doing for everything else, right? This is making me sad. But, but uh, okay. I would still give it a higher than a C. Because even though Ash is an idiot, we still see the battle system in play. And we see it's all honestly a very smart system. And all right. But, because... but let, let me contrast it for a moment compared okay. to the game and the manga. Well, the game's amazing. The game's amazing. You have to predict, you move your opponent's going to do, and then you switch, etc. Lovely. Anyway, as far as the manga goes, it is so damn good. The way you have to train with your Pokemon and select your team, and there's a point where you have to bond with them, but you also have to train with them. You have to grow them, and also, you're fighting to the death. Yeah. You realize the trainer is the king of the chessboard, and you just have to take the enemy king. And everyone uses Pokemon and the terrain to their advantage, to kill their opponent. Well, I mean, other than the whole killing thing, I was going to be like, well, you're just describing Pokemon. Yeah, but, like, I'll give you an example. Bruno of the Elite Four, he set up the battlefield that he fought Red that his Onyx was underground. So right when the battle started, Onyx popped up, and the entire terrain started moving, and Red couldn't hold his balance, while Bruno trained to grip Onyx. Also, um, Bruno had a pair of nunchucks, and he had Pokeballs at the edge of his nunchucks. So when he would fling his nunchuck out, he would be able to send his Pokemon out much closer to Red, sending out Hitmanlee, who would be able to get past Red's Pokemon defenses immediately to, and try to take him out. All right, that sounds amazing. I'm reading Pokemon like, Adventures. That, that is the first move of Bruno in this whole battle. All right, what were you giving Pokemon Adventures? Pokemon Adventures would be an SS. Pokemon the anime would be a C. Notes to... Editing afterwards, put Pokemon Adventures in SS because that sounds amazing, and I'm going to read it because that sounds unreal. And Pokemon, yeah. I say we put it in C or B. Mm. Okay. I think they almost do a better B. job in Pokemon to like show off their system and the weaknesses of each Pokemon, so on and so forth, and having a balanced team. Yeah, and but there's also no consistency. Like There, there are scenes like... Um, Pikachu losing you know, Pikachu snivy. versus Rhydon, and it's like Rhydon's ground type, so it's not effective. But Pikachu, focus your electricity on its horn. That must be its weakness. And then it defeats it. And it's like, what? No. <laughs> never know. Everyone has a weakness. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, fine. See it is. But, like, the Pokemon Adventures manga is so smart. Like, for example, isn't it dope that um, Lieutenant Surge has a bazooka that fires out exploding Voltorbs? Like, that's what I'm talking about. All right, next up, we have okay. Fairy Tail. Yes. But honestly, it's not that good. No. C? Or B? Or try? C. C. I'd give it a C. I a think... C just because some powers are cool. I was just about to say, like, I thought it was cool whenever things were introduced. And then I feel like they, they weren't used in the best way. And yeah. then they would forget about stuff. And then it was just... Whoever could do the cool, like the best attack. Honestly, it was it was annoying, and there was a little bit of strategy involved in the fights, but it didn't correlate with the system very well. Uh, I I think I'm with you, sort See. of. Or uh, or trash. Even though I'm the fairy tale fanboy. Hmm. I'm thinking trash, fam. I will. I'm thinking trash. If Dragon Ball is trash, some of the fights like are Dragon epic, Ball. but the power system ain't. I would put it in trash. Mm -hmm. This right, is so sad. Enough. But anyway. Next we have Fate. And this is not per se just Fate Stay Night. It's all of Fate. It's the power system of the mages and the different mage families. As well as the servants in the very epic Holy Grail War. And I would give it an A. Because I think it's really cool. <laughs> I mean it's cool. But each relationship between the servant and I guess whatever the, the hero summon. Master. The master. Actually, no, vice versa. Whatever. Um, is very unique and different. And some of them, it shows off the power system well. And some of them, it just sucks. I don't like the idea that every hero has, uh, every heroic spirit has one heroic phantasm. Like a power based off their myth and legend. And part of the power system, you have to remember, is also trying to figure out, I mean, ideally, this would be fate. Not if Fate's Day Night was written by half... Um, let, let's not insult the Fates Night writers yeah. too much. Uh, but to you have to figure out, out what their legend is. Yeah. And once you figure out their legend, you can also off that 
base what you assume their noble phantasm would be in a way to defeat them. But they didn't like they, they didn't do that nearly enough times. No, because the fate stay night was written by uh, the nincompoops. I think it's an A. What did you say it was? I said A. All right, I'll allow it. Dope. Gatekeeper Briggs here. Yes, well, I'm the one with the mouse, even though I feel like you've decided most of these. But we agreed mm-hmm. on that one. Yes, we did. Hunter, uh, Hunter, we agreed SS. SS. Hell yeah. Probably the greatest battle system of all time. Yeah. I, I, I mean, JoJo's is close, but I still think it's better you than You don't have JoJo's. How? How? I did it. How did you forget JoJo? I put it. It was there. This is some fucking bullshit. Where are you, JoJo's? Where are All right. you? Uh, I guess this is one of those note to editors. Please pop JoJo's in SS tier. SS tier. Uh, do it. It was there. It just didn't get <clears throat> carried over, apparently. Um, well, in any case, so, JoJo's is SS tier. Hey. Honestly, arguably, the battles in JoJo's are even better than the battles in Hunter. I would agree that the battles in JoJo's are better. Find out your opponent's uh, stand and what it does makes the hugest difference. Each stand is so unique and the strategies used between the user and or the person and their stand is unbelievable. I like honestly like sometimes the stands aren't even that good, but the way they're used is amazing. Yes, just because you don't know what they can do. Exactly. They're so terrifying. It's so good. Honestly, yeah, literally no. the best fights in fiction. Yeah, pretty much. I can't think of a better better, better fights in anime. Um, but Nen's also so intricate, and there's so many details, and there's so many variations, and the ability to, um, like we were talking about in the previous bracket, where you could add, um, what, what was it called? Do you know what I'm talking about? Where Gon no, no, no idea sacrifices Oh, yeah, life. Gon, yeah, um, conditions, Nen conditions. Conditions, yes, Nen conditions. And depending on how strong the condition, and like it directly affects the strength of the ability, and oh, it, it, it is a fantastic system. Hell yeah! JoJo's and Hunter Hunter are like the two kings of power systems, but Pokemon Adventures is up there for sure. And as far as the um, I give it a solid ass rank. Mm. I like the idea. I do like the I idea like, a lot. I like the concept. I like how it's based on intellect. I mean, the circle thing was kind of stupid. Loki agreed. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, all the good users. Oh, let me just put this circle on my glove. And then Hell you, yeah. And then if you know Meanwhile, the truth. Meanwhile, you have, like, these other guys carrying chalk around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then if you know the truth, all you have to do is clap. Hell yeah. Which makes sense, obviously. Yeah, I kind of, I like it. Mm. A or S, A or S. I think I'm leaning more towards A than S. Not gonna lie. Really? Fair enough. I I don't mind. I'm I'm good with that. But then, because it's on uh, based on intellect, it is very cool as well. It is very cool. Hmm. In any case, uh, One Punch Man. You know I love One Punch Man's power system. (laughs) You've only made like 19 videos on it. Only like uh, 47. So what do you love about it, Nux? I love how the power system is all a metaphor for the obsession that the human is going through in their psyche. And it's because of that that it causes them to either become a hero or monster. And that applies to literally everything, even someone as stupid as Crab Guy from episode one. I to like everyone as deep as Garo, who became the protagonist of One Punch Man season two. You know, I haven't watched the last episode of One Punch Man season two. Yeah, but it's pretty good. I know what happens because I read the manga, yeah. so it doesn't matter. I agree. Even like Moomin Rider, he just wants to make a difference. And what does he do? He makes a difference. So Moomin Rider is so cool because the thing about him is he is not trying to become the strongest hero. He is trying to become a hero that can put people at ease. You know? Uh, I was going to say he wants to be a hero that can make a difference and help people. He doesn't want to be the greatest hero. And that's why he's the one that's on television very often. Yeah. And he does make a difference. He stalls people. He does. he helps the little, like the little guys. He he, he makes uses a just his crash, the strongest ability in the entire series. He can also cycle while standing. What? No way! And most people can't do it. In fact, He's... I'd venture to say that no one can aside from him. Yeah, Saitama definitely can't. 
Hmm. So where do you want to put this? S? I personally love One Punch Man. I would put it SS. But I can understand why no one else. Well, it's would. better than Black Clover, so it has to be SS. Like Black right. Clover's power system. Fair enough. So I'll allow it. Hell yeah. Hmm. Toriko. So I don't Toriko. Even know Toriko system. You don't? No, I haven't watched it. If you well, eat food, you become little. more badass. I've also seen very little. I, I was not the hugest of fans. C tier. I'm just guessing. C tier. I can just oh, tell by your expression. God. All right, Bleach. Oh, yeah. Bleach is cool. Bleach, Bleach actually is... has a surprisingly good system. I am with you on that. Hmm. I'm trying to think of B what... or A. I'm just looking at the list and where it belongs. I think it's actually yeah better than MHA system, better than One Piece system. By the way, I'm the hugest One Piece fanboy, so clearly One Piece being in B and me putting stuff above it means I am unbiased and the most objective individual on the planet. <laughs> so. I would say, if you moved FMA up to S, then I would put B Bleach in A. Mm, honestly, I feel like it's on par with FMAs. Really? Yeah. I, I love Bleach's power system. I love how there are different races that have different abilities. But what I love most about it is the fact that the Zanpakdos have personalities that they have to clash with in their minds. Yeah, that was, because... I was going to say that. Like You have to have a relationship with your Zanpakdo. You grow together. For example, someone like Kampachi who neglects his Zanpakuto as, as an individual, you never get to, you, you just have the base sword. You never get to improve it, right? Until you Until work together that very it. moment in the manga. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as well as it's very much like the amount of time you put in, how much effort you put in to grow with this sword is how powerful you come. It takes a long time other than Ichigo to grow a Bankai or to use a Bankai. There's different levels. Each Zanpakuto has specific abilities. Like that one guy who every time he touches your sword makes the swords... Your Double sword as heavy. Yeah, yeah, I it, agree. That is a cool So power. cool. So the strategy changes in every battle depending on the sword you're fighting against and its user and how they decide to use it. Yeah, I, I like the power system. I would give it an A, but also I would move up Fudometer Alchemist to... Naruto no. is in here! If we put FMA at A, then, uh, I mean at S, then we're putting Bleach at S. Bleach has an amazing power system. They just fuck up in other ways. I would put Bleach in A. I wouldn't give it S. Dude. I like it, but I wouldn't well, give it Well, then again, S. I don't, haven't seen Moggy. I'm saying, like, I feel like it's better than Fates and No Game No Life. Well, we forgot Naruto, and it's like the king of power systems. How? I have Naruto in there. I hate... This sucks. So, um, I think that, uh, a note to editor, please add Naruto into, like, A tier-ish. Because it is fair. pretty dope. I like the... And, uh, also, add Boruto to trash, even though it's the same power system. <laughs> I like the whole chakra natures. I yes. do, too. What ruins it for me is if we wouldn't have that whole final arc where literally the only things that matters are either tailed beast Jinchurikis or different permutations of the shouting gun, I feel like it would be higher on the list. Yeah. But due to the fact that it winds up to you need one of those two things, it, would, it wouldn't go higher than A. Well, that's the me. problem. There's so many variables. And in the beginning, it was so cool because there were so many variables. You got the, you got the Uchiha clan's uh, eyes. Oh, fuck. What am I saying? The shouting gun, the Byakugan. Is it Bakugan? I think so. Um, yeah. But then you also got different chakra natures. You got different jutsu. There's a lot of variables. Um, even though like, the hand cool. size means nothing. Eight gates. I think the eight gates is amazing. Yeah, it's also cool. And then the war arc comes along and it's like, so if you don't have a shouting gun or a bijou, well then F you. Yeah, it, it goes from having a very strategic and intricate battle system to being like Dragon Ball. Essentially. Dragon Ball with a twist. Yeah. Um, like, now I have a Kenju too that can work on the entire planet. I'm, I'm like, keeping no. Bleach where it is because I'm using my Lord D Brigo one pass to put Bleach where it is. All right, fair enough. And uh, we'll put Naruto at A. Uh, Naruto at A, Boruto at Trash, and I think that wraps up the list. Boruto at Trash. And that is the end of this video. Thank you, Nux Taku, for joining me. Truly my pleasure, Lord Brigo. Thank you for having me. But of course. Anyway, guys, um, we stream on Twitch sometimes. I'm going to link Rant Cafe down because we have a podcast with me, Nux, and Adamac from Anime Uproar. I have my own Twitch, Beastly Briggs. You should definitely follow. I play Dark Souls and do 
tier lists and stuff like that. Nux Taku's channel and Twitter will be down below. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna link all the things. You can find it all. Cool. And just like cool. that, I'll see you guys all next time, dudes. Shin Taku. And stay weird, fam. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> sure. sure. Why not?